What's happening, people? Welcome back to Out of the Loop. Thank you for joining me. So uh, I have some Ben Boma sounds for you today. Uh, they're all going to be given away in my Patreon, which will be linked down below for Tier 1 people. It's all Diva sounds, so you do need Diva to use these. Um, but yeah, let's get into it, and I'll show you the sounds. Cool. So yeah, it's kind of a blend between uh, a few different uh, uh, tracks of his, but I um, hope you guys get the idea there and uh, you hear the resemblance. So we'll go through some of the things. The first thing is just a shaker made with operator. It's just uh, like the white noise oscillator um, with like a short decay. There's nothing too fancy to show there. Um, but the chords, this is, is generally, or the, the pad is, is generally quite simple in sound design. It is, um, let me make this bigger for you guys. Boom. Okay, so um, it's essentially the, the init patch in Diva. So as you open up Diva, you get this initial patch, but I've added quite a bit of reverb um, and a bit of this damp and diffusion, added a delay, um, which I EQ'd a bit in, in within the delay. Um, and that's just to capture kind of like the top end of the, the pad. And then um, these, this I think I left all the same. I added a bit of feedback, a bit of noise, and I changed the octave where it plays. And then I added 12 voices. Um, and that way it just sounds very like huge and, and quite spread. Um, and I think I might have done a bit more on the detune here. Uh, it's quite nice to add this as well. So when you start adding like quite a lot of voices, if you do things like this, you can actually, so the voices are slightly different from each other. So every time it, it plays, it will play through different voices. At the minute it's playing these three and then it'll play these and then it'll play, it'll continue on like that, you see? It'll be different each time. And it will just give it a slight change and you can start doing things like this, like adding a variance to the glide, a variance to the cutoff, a variance to the envelope on each time it hits, which just gives it like an analog kind of feel. You can really drift it. Yeah, really beautiful. Um, let's move on to the bass. The bass is very simple as well. It's it's the init patch, you can take this off, it's not making too much difference. It's the init patch again, uh, but I've put it into mono, well, into legato, so it's uh, a lot more central. And then took off the reverb, um, which you don't always have to do, you can add, add a bit of reverb to your bass, as long as you bring down like the decay here, uh, you can just like, like a very small amount here, bring the size down, and you won't get too much of the low end like rumble. But it, oh, it's not on. And it will add a little bit of whip to your bass. Um, yeah, I did try it also with the fifth here, which could all, could work. But it kind of clouded it. It's a lot better with just the singular, singular uh, sawtooth coming through. Added a bit of feedback. Um, and I think that's around it. There's not too much difference on here, like compared to the, the init patch. Um, yeah, so let's move on. The, the main idea is that it's just following this chord progression, which is just a very typical thing that you would do. Uh, so, so it all harmonizes with each other. Um, but I, if you do that, also try and make sure you get rid of some of the low end in the chords, because the chords are also playing these low notes as well. Uh, but, so you can get rid of them, or you can take them away from the chord progression, but it might take away a bit of the life in the, in the chords. All right, so the ARP. This is like the Father Ocean ARP. Really beautiful ARP. It's quite fun to just like jam on it. It's just got a lot of uh, life. Let's 
playing the wrong key there. But yeah, so um, the main idea with it, the reason why it's going, it's like kind of swishing in and out, is because of this LFO2 here, which is set to the cutoff, which is quite a typical thing to do, but not so typical to do on a pluck because you can kind of get rid of that pluckiness, but that's kind of what's giving it the character. So LFO2 is routed here, and then that's set at a really fast rate, uh, one over 16th or whatever, every uh, 16th bars. Um, but it's at a random glide, which is just making, which means it's randomly gliding through the waveforms. It's ran randomly gliding through these, which is kind of giving it this weirdness um, and, and unpredictability. It's also set at like a slightly slower rate than that, so it's not exactly on this speed. I'm not sure what that speed would be, what that's called, but um, yeah, it's too a little bit too quick on that. And it's just a sawtooth essentially. That's it. It's a sawtooth going through and a high high pitch, a little bit of white noise. Um, yeah, a little filter here through the U byte or the uh, HPF byte. And this is just like pushing it a little bit. If you take this away, it's like tuning it where you want it to. Oh, so yeah, and get really loud. That was a bit painful. So you can kind of tune that to where you want it to be. Um, and then, yeah, there's a fair bit of reverb and a lot of delay, a fair bit of feedback. The book, just bear in mind with this delay, um, it has been EQ'd. So it's only actually delaying like the top part of the sound, like here. It's not the whole sound. Because then you're getting all the, like the lower notes. So with that, you could just get those nice like top end parts. And that same LFO is affecting the um, FM uh, mod, which is a uh, filter modulation. So it's just giving it like this. If you've ever heard filter modulation, it, it can give a slight kind of detune feeling, uh, which is quite nice. And that's kind of it. There's not much else going on. Um, just eight voices. Um, I think there's a fair bit on the yeah on this voice drift again, like I was showing before. As it, so the voices are all slightly different. Do a bit of that. It's a, this stuff is kind of like the last like two percent of a sound. It's not making a huge amount of difference, but it does a little something, something. Okay, cool. That's the ARP, and then we've got this glider thing. I didn't quite nail this. I don't think it's pretty close, but it's not like exactly right. It also does play um, bass on where you play as well like it's kind of a oh it's kind of a, a counter melody so it depends on the notes that you you play along with what you have but with this it's i'm just playing the fifth i'm playing the a and then the, the fifth which is the d and it's just quite nice Yeah, it just gives it kind of like a another layer of um, harmony. This is made, and this is actually in my um, Diva pack, which will be out with Production Music Live, um, but I will give it away for free because I'm a nice guy. Well, not for free, in the Patreon, <laughs> uh, which is close to being free. Uh, but yeah, so this sound is, the main thing is that this glide is up. The first glide is up very high, <laughs> which is making it so it glides on the first hit of the of the sound um, you can also kind of do that effect with the tune mod here but it doesn't sound quite right um, and all it is is a sawtooth going through with a little bit of white noise it's the init patch again like most of these sounds are made from the init patch and then just changed around a little bit because it's a really good starting point um, yeah and it's just like a sustained sus sustained sound so the amp is very sustained, so it just stays there. Um, and then there's this little bit of a, this envelope is opening the cutoff up as soon as the sound comes through. So with this off, it wouldn't sound. It'd be a lot more close, but you kind of want that. Yeah, um, a bit of chorus, which is giving it kind of a, a bit more of a wobble. Fair bit of reverb, like a lot of reverb, probably too much. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's it really, nothing too crazy. It's just the main thing is just this kind of glide and you can start adding vibrato if you want. Like 
that kind of changes it from the the idea that you're going for i think so cool that's all the sounds they will be available in uh, patreon very soon i'm just going to upload it now like i said it's in tier one so anyone who signs up uh in the first tier which is like three pounds a month uh you get all of these sounds i'll give you and the project file um just bear in mind the people that are signing up and then downloading um, and then cancelling just bear in mind i don't get anything at all if you do that if you wait one month i'll at least get something for my hard work which i think is fair um all right guys thank you very much i'll catch you guys in the next video um if you have any questions on what i've shown you let me know in the comments if you enjoyed it let me know in the comments if you uh, enjoy my content subscribe to the channel hit the bell button uh, and leave a like it'll be very much appreciated all right have a good weekend guys